Hello and welcome to the Start to Finish Art Show. My name is John Milan. I am a painter. I come up with ideas in my sleep and in my waking hours and I get them to come to life with all the magic and pizzazz I can find. Today I finished the challenge of the Start to Finish painting project. I have always wanted to try a seahorse and I really am fascinated by those creatures and I, I wanted to do a series of underwater looks number three in the series. How many are there going to be in the series? I think 17,000. So when I make a source, I get the picture in my mind first, then I go and search and see a few creatures from the sea or cities, such as New York aerial photography, and then I blend them together. I enjoy the world of sketching. I study a lot of artists who do complete sketches and that is their piece. And so I want to combine painting and sketching and show a little of that coming through. Uh, it's like the skeleton of a painting. It's the starting point invention. So each one, each drawing, I think everything is made with a drawing first. The first thing I think of is the placement of the idea. And I think of open spaces around it because in the past I used to fill the entire canvas with just details and everything was equally important. But now I've slowly become to a place where I make one huge object of interest and a lot of doodads. I start with water soluble graphite because it leaves such a nice sketchy mysterious atmosphere and you can mush it away with water then when you look at it it's inspiring to you as the painter to see all these blurry shapes around it which add shadows and depth. You might ask why all the extra jaggedy edges all over the place? They just add levels of depth. They add interest. They will just give more shapes to look at visually. Believe it or not, all of these marks will make sense soon. Now, because this is a start to finish process, I won't go on and on for 70 days, but I will do it in one day. Does it normally take you 70 days? Sometimes up to six years. Okay, let us get this water brush here. I chose a 12 string guitar because it should be a little more unusual down under the ocean here. You must have a lot more sound waves to send out to compete with all the whales singing, and dolphin noises. Okay, now I believe this one is ready for pen. Okay. I like to pause it. Pause for the moment. I'm going to get some uh, Clear gel. Yeah. This is clear gel, which I'm going to brush on. It's going to activate the ink a little, but I love the look of it. So I'm going to brush it on to secure this down before adding color. So let's watch as it activates the ink. Perfect, ready to go. I like to get the idea down lightly, freeze it in place. Then with color addition, I want to just choose a few that are gonna work well together. Purple, pink, gold, gray. Okay, who's ready for action here? Let's see, we are going to go into the background.
For the past few years, I've been going for pink. Everything is pink and gray and so stylish. It's something I avoided when I was younger and now I really use certain colors. Starting to grow a little and branch out. I saw a lot of seahorses. There are very vibrant colors on each one. There's green, there's yellow. And so the pink one, it does exist and I, I must find them. I would need to go in the ocean and I need to talk to them and I'm spend just years talking with the seahorses. I just want to hold one. Can I just hold one? Can I ride one in the ocean? I need to find a big one. I want to ride one. I am feeling good about it. Every step is going the way I was hoping it would. For tomorrow, we will get into the addition of oil and that is very fun as well as each other step also with the oil it will bring it to life You must check out Art Club and Art Social to see this entire episode of Start to Finish and see all the latest videos from all your favorite artists. Right now we're having a 14 day free trial. You can't go wrong with that.